mean, it wow. was an assault rifle. Where would that Where would that gun have gone? I know exactly where it went. Do when you? we moved to London, um, he handed in all of his weapons. Do you remember? Apart from the my gun, which he gave to Jesse Woods' mum for protection, wasn't it? Yeah. And <laughs> the police destroyed all the guns except for the assault rifle, yeah. <laughs> which they pressed into service. Oh, with really? Their firearms team, yeah. Jeez. They even told him they were going to do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so he, he, he's probably still about somewhere. Well, he still had a gun, didn't didn't he? Because uh, do you remember at Riverdale when the neighbour came and complained yeah. about the parking, that the mobile was on his parking space? And he went out cleaning his gun, yeah. And he went out. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Problem? <laughs> Problem? <laughs> and he was just cleaning his gun while the neighbour said... <laughs> You're going to pull a gun on me, which was one of his full intention. And he said, no, mate, I'm just cleaning it. Um, <laughs> so he definitely had a gun at that point. Oh, yeah, but that was, um, that was his pride and joy. That was his, that one he kept. I don't know well, what so, happened to that. Well, well, the, he went off, didn't he, with Boo to go and sell the guns. That's the last we saw of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, successful mission. <laughs> But the, other, the tail end of your story with, with his hunting expedition was when he put all of that fur and red bits into, yeah. into a toughest carrier bag <laughs> and comes home to me and he says, Home, is the Hunter, home from the hill. Here you are, woman, that's the pot. And I lost his sight. There was nothing. Mate. It was it horrific. Was red and fluff, that was it. Absolutely horrific. But, sir... Uh, Serious overkill. Well, it, was a, it was a quiet gun. I'd have, gone, I'd have gone hunting with him if he took that gun, right? <laughs> well, it wasn't much good for hunting if it blew everything apart. Yeah, you really. needed to hunt some bigger stuff. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> not, <laughs> little, not little buddies. No, just neighbours from hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, he was take aim at the hang gliders, didn't he, on a Sunday? Hey. Sunday yeah. morning, he'd take his rifle and shoot the hang gliders. <laughs> He was a menace. Christ! Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm destroying his reputation. <laughs> yeah, this is a, we might just have to stop this right now. <laughs> um, but he did do it with a <laughs> um, certain amount of panache. So, what, okay, so what, I mean, anything out just from the fish called the times? Because obviously, we know a, a lot of music was written there. You talked about Anymore for Anymore. Um, the other thing I, hear about a lot again is a lot of my friends parents always talk about the drum and monkey yeah uh, going to the pub and like the people you could go to the pub for a drink and the people who'd be in there jamming and stuff obviously oh. that's fishbowl days isn't it yeah but funnily enough i bumped into some people up at white grit the other day and they said oh i remember you, you lot when you used to go down to the miners on the horse and cart and one time, you were only a baby, but you must have fallen off the car <laughs> and landed in the hedge. And they got down to the pub, realised you weren't there, <laughs> sent someone back and found you asleep in the no way. This is two weeks ago I heard that story. Bloody yeah. hell, mother. Yeah. Uh, you were supposed to be in a basket. Right. A bit like Again. I've got yeah. baskets. I love baskets. Seriously, these these Isofix baskets are amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, it's a horse and cart. Well, it was um, a hell of a hill to go down. Have you not regaled Charlie with the story of your tractor driving experience? <laughs> oh, no, not really. Well, Mum can't drive. No. No. Full stop, can you? You know what she did? Not then. Dad put her on the <laughs> tractor and she immediately drove it straight into the fish pond. Why? Yeah. Right. yeah. What? Why? Uh, he left it in reverse. Bit of dredging. <laughs> He left it in reverse. He didn't tell me about that. He just said, well, you know, like you're doing a motor, you just put your foot down there. It's so easy. Anyone, any fool can drive a tractor. Yeah. Just get on with it. And it went straight back and landed in the duck pond. Mm. And uh, well, So you killed it? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 it survived. I mean, it, survived. it was an... You'll know what make it was. It was, it was an a, ancient one. It was an old Fordson Major. Oh, okay. Hardy old tool. Yeah. Well, well, it was okay. Came out there all right. So you never drove it again? 
Yeah. No, it's banned. Yeah. Yeah, that. good. For everyone's safety, especially <laughs> the ducks on the pond. Yeah. yeah. See? That was his fault, though. I mean, he should have told me it was in reverse. I mean, it just went backwards all the way. <laughs> See? Never did teach me to try. No, no that's why I had a horse and cart. Yeah. Horse and cart was marvelous. And that, so. and you were, you were faultless on the horse I, and cart, clearly, nifty. except for losing your children yeah. on the road. Yeah. Roadkill. Yeah. Roadkill. So. No, really, I wasn't. So this that is nice. Bad. So far, we talked about shooting small animals, ditching your kids, yeah, and driving tractors into As ponds. As a matter of fact, we're not coming out of this too well. Luke. Was this a good idea? <laughs> not really. Should we no. move on to how successful we were at something? Yeah, let's talk about Anything something. Let's do. talk about something you got right. Oh <laughs> God! <laughs> um, That's a really hard question. So, so who were? So, what sort of people about the time? Obviously, we've got there's you, Ronnie. There's a young Luke. There's Alana, Rube. Obviously. Oh, he was just a thought. Yeah, Rube, Rube yeah, would have been. He made an appearance in 1979. Worst day of Luke's life. Absolutely. I mean, Still getting over it. <laughs> never He's get still over frigging it. haunting me, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And then, and then as, Charlie Hart, yeah. our fiddle player. Yeah. Master of all trades. Yeah. And Ron Forkus. Yeah. The producer. He, he, uh, he ran the <laughs> mobile. And then we had Charlie next door in the cottage. And then as during the making of Any More For Any More, we had the whole band there living. That's why we had all those wagons. Well, we got these wagons anyway, because we kept collecting wagons. But uh, them and their wives and kids and any sort of extraneous passing by that was musical in some way or interesting we had turkey sandwich what do you remember yeah. when we discovered him what turkey sandwich Turkey sandwich and wild ruby yeah we discovered them when we went off to the coast in the bus it was wild, wild ruby had the long black hair was it well sort of longish yeah was it was it her that was with me when i found that puffball that yes enormous puffball? yes she was that's what i thought yeah and she ran off with Charlie's girlfriend. No way. Yeah. <laughs> she so, was. I remember her being quite pretty. She was. She was fit. Yeah. I didn't. Couldn't really say that. I was four at the time. Yeah, but uh, we <laughs> discovered them, as I said, um, when we'd gone just for a weekend somewhere down the coast, probably Barmouth or Towin or wherever, and they were performing as. Turkey sandwich and wild ruby, and Alana fell in love with turkey sandwich because he was a clown. Oh, fair it is. Where the clown well, from. she she just liked clowns. She was mad for clowns, and he was very funny. And they did an act that was really good. So anyway, they came back with us and subsequently stayed there for quite a long while till, you know, domestic issues <laughs> forced them apart somewhat. But we still like Charlie. Good old Charlie. Charlie Hart's girlfriend? Yeah. Wow. Well, Completely went over my head. Well, it went over mine a bit. because Yeah, I you probably it. would have struggled at four to see what was going on. <laughs> well, I, I don't think, without sounding a bit... What's mm. Wild Ruby doing with that woman? <laughs> <laughs> she is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Mum! Turkey, turkey sandwich and Wild Ruby. Who else did we have there? Oh, then we had Alistair and Wendy. Oh, and well, Sophie. Well, they, they sound normal. Do you remember Sophie? Sophie? Oh, Sophie used to beat me and Lana up. And, uh, okay, nice. Yeah, and also he maintained and painted the wagons. Oh, okay. Because so that's what he did, because he eventually opened that wagon you see. Him, yeah. Where our wagons landed up. Yeah. Never to be seen again. Alas, alas. That's another story which won't be told. Yeah, we'll move so, on from that. Um, moving on rather smartly, I want to use and abuse Luke while he's here. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Luke laying on camera yeah. pre lockdown. It's never going to happen again. No, it probably isn't. This is once in a lifetime. <clears throat> so, we, we need to concentrate on fishful days, something, anything that crops up in your memory. <laughs> 